Welcome back to our Global ITEC Solution Gates Playwright channel on lecture 5. Before we started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related to this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be seeing the post uh, endpoint we already see on the previous lecture. This is the following lecture and we'll be optimizing request body. We'll be calling that request body. We'll be reusable, um, um, we'll be creating a reusable method or the functions for the optimization body. And uh, also will be assert the assertion of the response body, right? Let's get started. So let's go back inside the code. We saw it on the last lectures. It is not, we, I'm, I'm not able to validating the expect of the part of the response body, right? So the mistakes I did over here to contain JSON inside, instead of to contain JSON, we'll be using to equal. In that case, if I use the equal, if you run our test again, equal meanings name equal MD is one job equal tech lead software engineer. So this is pass, right? You see, this is static code and this is um, exactly passing it. So now let's go back. Um, so data, so we are using the data. We can call the data. We can create a constant inside the class. Let's say use the constant like const um request body equal this right so data instead of data will be using request body so this is our request body now inside you see we, we take it out the data so we'll be putting the data out the way it was before and for that data we'll be using the request body here let's see it is working on that, right a little bit optimizations right now so that's when we, we declared the variable for the json and call that variable okay. if it is working we'll be doing more optimizations it is working now how about we can call this request body inside a, a manageable or manipulating the folders of data outside of the test cases right so now we'll be creating over here is a folder called request body request body so like is a response body right inside the request body will create a file call so specifically with this which is create users right so create user request create users request body request body dot json because this is a json file this is this is json format so we can put them inside the json right exactly so you can put them inside a json now if i call there from the json same thing like we did it earlier right so create json response body instead of doing that create user json request body request body and we'll be calling from here request body request body and the json file okay now if i use directly over here it should be fine should be fine okay so let's see if it is working that's fine if not we can work around perfect it is working so now you see we don't need the constant over here so now a little bit more optimized this code right we're calling this data from the json file and used used as a body then we also validate the response body as a 200 okay so also we can console that we can console that how do we console that um, it is very straightforward in order to console in the output. We can say console.log response.status text. So if we do that, let's say console.log response. What, what um, I want to print, let's say status text. So status text always is a functions always right so this is our uh, status text 
So also we can print out status code. How do we how do we print the status code? Basically same way we did this status text and we can do the status code response dot so you'll be seeing over here as a status all of them right status now if you run this one let's see what what happened You see the status is a created status code 200 also we can print response body how do we do that so console.log we can do um, await response.text so if we do over here response dot text might be okay so text is our functions and we have to use await because this is a response okay? uh, it should be a consistency everywhere you can use the um, await here also you can use before that's good that should be fine See all of the test cases process and the body is look like this. So it's it's printing out created, printing out status code, and also printing out the body of it. What is the body lupix? Right. So same thing you can do for the for all all of your test cases. Um, get request. So if you do that in a get request, it's going to be the same thing because this is asynchronous. It's not going to be waiting for step to complete it. So now let's run three of them. NPM run test. Let's see all of them are passing in there. All the tests are passing, right? And you can do over here a little bit tweaks. Let's say console.log. Um, you can put over here console.log. So this is your status code right so this is for our debugging purpose uh, just making sure it is visible on the console nothing nothing else but the actual validation we're doing using the expect as an assertion just making sure uh, so this is the get and post everything we covered right so now on the next next lecture let's say the post we created over here we just created this users and we want to update and delete it let's see in a next lecture uh, how to update and how to delete this lecture uh, this uh, user thank you so much for watching this lecture stay tuned for upcoming lecture for rest of the course thank you